but the 2012 team has some serious unfinished business to attend to, and I intend to play a part in it. That was USC quarterback Matt Barkley last December, following a season in which the Trojans went 10-2, beat Oregon at Autzen, but had to sit at home for the postseason due to NCAA sanctions. Now the Trojans are bowl eligible once again, and everyone on campus is excited about it. Well, I think, you know, an extra month off of sitting there and, you know, when they felt they should have been in a game, so um, I'm sure that, that that matters to them. But, um, you know, we're just taking it one day at a time, so that's a long ways from now. Barkley's return to the Trojans came with one goal in mind, compete not only for a conference title, but a national championship as well. And the senior says he's ready to help the Trojans return to the upper echelon of college football. It's freeing. It's, it's nice have, not having that hanging over your head and uh, being free to, to enjoy the season. And you know, at the same time, we were kind of trying to approach it similar to last year. And we're not looking ahead to, to a postseason or lack thereof. And the tandem of junior receiver Robert Woods and sophomore receiver Marquise Lee gives Barkley arguably the top pair of wideouts in the nation to which to throw. I played with him in high school. But I was on the defense side all the time, but the chance to come up to SC and actually play with him on the same side of the ball is amazing, you know, because I know Robert's a great player and I'm just trying to live up to his expectations. With 16 total starters returning, the Trojans were one of the hottest teams in the nation at the end of last season. On defense, USC's top five tacklers return, including safety TJ McDonald, who led the team with three interceptions. All that taught us is how to, you know, this is cherish the moment. And, and now that we have that moment, we've got to cherish every chance, not take anything for granted. Uh, so you just got to keep working hard, and uh, you still got a lot of work to do.